Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level of Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to declare and use variables within Stylus. So check it out. Let's get into that right now. So now we're ready to start using variables in Stylus. What I've done here is I have our style.styl file and our style.css file right next to each other so we can really easily see what's happening between the two. Okay, let's talk about variables. More than just useful for setting your colors to names, you can also set things like generic breakpoints that you're using. You can set things like font size. You can even run these variables through complex math that does a lot of things for you in your CSS. To get started, we just need to learn how to declare and use variables. From there, we can do all sorts of stuff with them. So let's go ahead and add a new variable. So instead of this blue color, I want a more calm blue. And I have a, uh, a hex value here. So what I can do is say, I'm gonna say this is going to be our primary brand's color. So I can define this as a primary. And just by typing simply uh, text equals, and then your value. So my value is going to be this hex value. I've now defined a variable that I can use elsewhere. So now instead of background blue, I can say background primary. So let's just copy and paste this here. Save this. Now you'll notice that after our com compilation runs, we now have this new hex value being output here. What's great about this is that we didn't have to even declare that this was a variable, we just assigned this word to this value. And then when we use this word, it output that value. This can be really cool if you wanna replace the built-in colors uh, with your brand's color. So let's say that's just going to be our blue. Anytime we use blue, it's going to be that value. We could actually say this is simply going to be blue is equal to this. Now when we use the word blue, you'll notice that the hex value is that of the variable that we assign the word blue to. So this variable is actually overwriting the default value of blue. And whenever stylus sees this word, it finds the word blue here and replaces the value with here. And your CSS never ever ever sees this awful value of blue. So I really like this because what we don't have to do is declare this as the blue outside of it, uh, we can just use the natural word. and It doesn't necessarily have to be prefixed with anything for it to be defined as a variable. Well, what if you want to use that prefix? You've used sass and it just feels right. It doesn't feel right to have this blue be this other value. If you want to do that, you can certainly use the dollar sign blue here, just like we did in sass. And anytime we'd like to use it, you could use dollar sign blue here as well. And we click over you'll see that this compilation, even though it hasn't changed, it's absolutely the same still. Likewise, if we were to, for some reason, make this variable red, click over, you can see it's in fact using this dollar sign variable. So the dollar sign variable works, it works without the dollar sign. I actually really like this syntax without the dollar sign and it looks nice and clear. I can see that I'm using a blue, but it doesn't have to be stuck with that default blue shade that uh, is just really not nice to look at. Okay, so what are some other cool things that variables can do? One of the cool unique features about Stylus is that we can actually use properties as variables that we haven't actually defined. Now that sounds sort of weird, so let's see it in action. Let's say we have some text and we have a border on our body. And we always want these to be the same. This border is going to exist no matter what on the body and the text is always going to exist and they're gonna stay in unison. So we could define a variable like blue and use that or you could do something a little bit different. What we could say is we could say color and let's give that color this ugly red. Now what we can do is simply by saying border, we can say solid one pixel and then using this at sign, we can use the property of color without ever defining it as a variable. So by saying at color, it's going to look up the chain for the next time it sees the color property. So it looks up and it sees color right here and it says color red. So it's gonna grab this value and set that value here to the border. So if we save this, you can see it outputs our color is red and our border is solid one pixel red. Furthermore, if we actually wanted to redefine red, like we did with blue, we could say red is equal to, and then this 
hex value. Now it's going to see that color is going to pull this variable and border is going to still pull the value from color. So they're all going to be left at this red color here. So this is a really, really cool feature of stylus. I really like this. What you can essentially say here is keep these two values in sync, whatever this value may be. In fact, if we change this to that blue, they both change. So these two will stay in sync no matter what. And we don't, if we wanted to change this color from let's say red to blue, we didn't have to change the variable here and here. They just automatically sync up. Now we showed that this will go up the chain and find the next version of color. Well, what happens if we want to use the same nested color nested within body here? So inside of body, we have a main element. So we can just say main enter and tab over. And on this line, we want to say that the border on main is actually going to be color as well. So we can say border solid one picks and then add color. What's great about this is, is it goes up the chain and it still finds this red. Now, if we were to in fact have a color blue right here, it would be pulling that blue from the one directly above it. So as you can see, it sort of goes up the chain and this nesting can go as deep as you'd want. So as you can see, it's just going up the chain to what's next. So as you can see, setting and using variables is extremely easy in stylus. And like most things, it's sort of transparent, right? Nothing really gets in the way. There's not a lot of syntaxy things. It's just uh, variable equals value. And then you can just use that variable throughout. So this is just scratching the surface. There's lots to learn in Stylus. It's really great. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Keep watching. We're going to show you lots more in the next few videos. Follow us on Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.